So, remember how we were told that most people use, you know, maiden names and stuff like that? Yes. That's where we get the password here from. And she said her uh, family's name was Sharma. Yeah, I, I'm not particularly fond of that puzzle solution. Because it's like, oh, this is way too early. We'll probably find a password somewhere else. No! No, you won't. They do it here. They do it in... Uh, Cafe Rains. Even do it, do it in sort of way with uh, Resonance as well. Yeah, but in, in the other games, they telegraph it a little better rather than make you potentially think, hey, we have to... Uh, we'll... We'll just have to infer it. Yeah. what we have to do next we can pretty go down from here I think there are even more I swear this is where the bulk of the game is Lots of money going out to this guy. Meeting with Joe DeMarco. Yeah. Whoops, he was trying to get in touch with it, with us. But uh I misspelled the name. So the whole reason that Stone kicked him out of the, uh, kicked him out was because he married a non-Jewish girl. 
At least that's the excuse he's using. Yeah. I mean, they work together. Let's pay a visit to the Silver Synagogue. And this fancy. Meh. I've seen better. Off, man. Like you may have seen better, but not at your place. I suppose it's okay. Chief Rabbi here at Beth Tikva. I do carry that honor. So, what can I do for you, Mr... Uh... Rabbi, actually. Rabbi Stone. Well, fancy that. I can always spare time for a fellow rabbi. What brings you to our humble synagogue? I want to ask a few questions about Jack Lauder. Lauder, Lauder. Where do I know that name? He was a member of your congregation. He died a few days ago. That's right. The funeral service was yesterday. I honestly don't know where my head is these days. You conducted the yeah. ceremony? People yes. get old. His wife yeah. insisted on it. Did she now? If I may ask. I, I know that way too well. in Mr. Lauder? He was a friend. Was he? A close one? No, imagine not. Jack was a member of Beth Tikva. Not... Uh, what synagogue did you say you were from? I didn't. My mistake. Is there anything you can tell me about Mr. Lauder? I'm afraid not, Rabbi Stone. My congregation is rather large. And Mr. Lauder seldom attended services. I'm sure I don't need to tell you what that's like. You certainly don't. Does the name Joe DeMarco mean anything to you? DeMarco? Yes. Sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Sorry. Are you familiar with an Ethan G? Ethan G? Is that his name? Just an initial, as far as I know. Ah, well, nothing leaps to mind, I'm afraid. I see that also, not also the mic quality was not the best. A few glitches were still in the audio. Hmm. Early game. Do you know anything yeah. about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? In all honesty, I have no idea who Joe DiMarco is, so I'm afraid the answer is no. Good night to you, Rabbi Zelig. Good night to you, Rabbi Stone. So the rabbi there is not all that useful. However, we did look at those pictures and it said E. Goldberg. Goldberg. Yep.
So we need to do a little search here. In our stone. Y E N. Oh, it made you log in again. <laughs> Ooh. So he died too. This keeps getting better and better. Hang on. Oh, yeah, we already knew he's there. The victim of a mugging. I mean, I don't know if you would have found anything searching for Joe DeMarco, but... Oh yeah, that's, that's why I wrote the name down. <laughs> nope, we have no hope with that name. You know, I'd almost think Ethan Goldberg would be a lot more common name than Joe DeMarco, but the game needs to do what the game needs to do. Yeah. So we need to go, uh, we need to go bother the woman again. Everybody's done nothing but stand there. Oh, we were busy, busy. Mrs. Lauder. Oh, it's you. He knows her Come roles as an NPC. Have you ever heard of the name Joe DeMarco? Joe? Joe. Joe. Yes, I've heard of Joe. He was one of our first investors. He invested in Sherman? Yes. Why did you need an investor? Well, we didn't have much money to start the business with. That's again All how businesses saw work. Us as a poor risk, so we needed independent investors. Have you ever met Joe? Jack handled the money stuff. Although I know Jack didn't like him. Why not? He didn't say. He just didn't like him. But we were desperate, so we had no choice. How did they meet each other? I think they were introduced at the temple of all places. At temple? So Joe DeMarco is Jewish? Maybe. Why? DeMarco is not a very Jewish name. And that's important to you, is it? Not to me, no. But it's certainly significant. Do you know anything about Ethan G meeting up with Joe DeMarco? I'm afraid not. If they met, I'm sure it had something to do with the business. Ethan was our accountant, and Joe was our primary investor. Although I have no idea what they'd want to talk about. Do you know an Ethan Goldberg? Oh, Ethan Goldberg. Yeah, I know him. Who is he? An accountant. We used him to handle taxes and complicated documents for the business. Not full-time, just on a consultant basis. Wait, is he involved in this? Not anymore. Yeah, you have He's opinions, dead. don't you? What? Since when? About a week or two ago. Murdered. My god! What is happening? That's what I'm trying to figure out. You really think Joe DeMarco is Jewish? I told you, I have no idea. I'm going to leave now. I'll see what else I can discover. Thanks, I guess. And now we gotta go see if the, uh, see if the rabbi knows anything now. Even though he knew nothing just a second ago. Excuse me, sir. We have acquired some noise flags. 
we have clues now. Yes. Does the name Joe DeMarco mean anything to you? DeMarco? Yes. Sounds Italian. Other than that, it means nothing. Sorry. I was hoping you could tell me something about Ethan Goldberg. I know he used to work here. Ethan? Oh, what a tragedy. That man did wonders for this community. It's a shame what Bloody happened to him. Do you man. know about his death? Wrong. Of course. I conducted the funeral service myself. I recently found out that Ethan Goldberg and Jack Lauder did business together. Really? I'm not surprised. Ethan offered these services to many people. He was a whiz with an editing machine. So I heard. Did a Joe DeMarco ever belong to this temple? DeMarco... That's hardly a Jewish name. I know. Although, it's difficult to say. As I told you, it's difficult to keep track of individual congregation members. He was an investor in Jack Lauder's company. Does that mean anything to you? I don't know. Should it? No, I suppose not. Doesn't any of this strike you as odd? Should it? Two Jewish men, both in business together and both belonging to the same synagogue, are killed within two weeks of each other. A third man, who may or may not be Jewish, is nowhere to be found. There are only two connections between these three men. One is Jack's business, the other is this synagogue. Rabbi Stone, I hope you're not suggesting anything... I'm not. Let me finish. People all over the world use religious communities to network and conduct business. This is nothing new. You know this, Rabbi Stone. If there is a connection, it has to do with their business dealings and nothing to do with Beth Tikva. I won't stand for our reputation being tarnished. Do I make myself clear? As crystal. I'm glad we understand each other. Now, if you'll excuse me, it is rather late. I understand. I'll see myself out. Wait, let me give you my card. Feel free to email me if you have any more questions. I'm also noting that every time the Bessie to acquire something, there's a horn, horn that plays and I acquire an achievement. Hmm. So now you need to take that card and go back home. We're going to have to learn about the other rabbi. Oh, got that font. Amos? Don't know. Amos Zelig. For Zelig. About to invade your personal information. So first we just search him. Amos Lake? Z E L I G. to New York in 1963 with his wife, Kawani's dog, Dodger. Since then, he's been one of the most prolific rabbis in the city. His wife and dog are gone, but the, the synagogue remains one of the strongest centers for the Jewish community. There's a wife, Carol, and a dog, Dodger. So now, go ahead and log out, and we're going to try and do a hack into his account. So the login is going to be Rabbi Z. Z. Nope, just R A B B I Z. No E. No E. Stop. No E's. No E's. 
the password is Dodger. Is that with an E or a uh, R? That's how you spell it. Oh, we'll get to these guys too. Oh, it's a smart ass. Yep. Philanthropic activities, huh? Turn more strikes again. From Ethan G. At the investor you set Jack up with. Yeah. His tickets. Uh. Hmm. What's the Oh no, there's an email from R. Blackwell. <laughs> Hello, Buzz Angela. It can't be the same one. I can't. Even if she was a... Hmm... Even if she was a writer for the Village Eye at one point. Hmm. So, huh. That would explain... That would explain why he tried to get back in touch with us. up some questions just a few do we really need to get coming into this room it's it's where the front door is You might want to save. Because death is a possibility. Oh.
That looks like that looks like uh, Rosangela there, just a little bit. Yeah, he's gonna be having an anime conversation with someone who wasn't there. It's very possible she's talking to Joey. Great. Now even rabbis think I'm crazy. It's Rosangela. Yep. <laughs> Excuse me. Hello. I think she's beyond your help, mate. Little bit, yeah. Y you aren't a Ghostbuster. Excuse me. I'm looking for information on Ethan Goldberg. He was killed outside of this bar. Bartender, clearly disinterested. Do you know anything about it? Evening. Yeah. Nice night. Whatever. So what's your he name? has a scar. Look, He's definitely dangerous. Hey, ask about Joe. Do you know Joe DeMarco? Sure I do. That's my name. Really? Yeah. What of it? You're a hard guy to track down. Well, yippee. You found me. What do you want? What's your connection with Jack Lauder? Don't know him. Sure you do. Eventually he he's going to checks. just keep pestering Whatever him and if to. he will eventually uh me. your name tell is you to follow the checks. him. Then it's some other Joe to Marco. Get out of here. Your name comes up yet again, Mr. DeMarco. This time in several emails addressed to Rabbi Zelig. So So what's the deal? It wasn't me. It was another Joe. Can it? Sing another tune, because I'm sick of the old one. It's enough evidence to book you if I choose to go to the police. So are you gonna tell me what's going on? Fine. You wanna talk? Let's talk. But not here. Follow me. Just walk this way. Yep. Now, you're going to have to talk to him again. And if you want to avoid dying, come on, you Rabbi. you give him a we'll uh, more privacy down here. rabbinical response and then always answer him with a question. You've pissed off the wrong people, Rabbi. I had no problem with you, but now I got to kill you. I see. You're an assassin. I had a feeling you were smart. Your people are in this very, very deep. My people? You mean the Jews? A very cozy operation. What sort of operation was this? Don't think I'll be doing that. Professional courtesy. Say goodbye. You think I'll go so easily? Don't make me laugh, old man. Always answer with the question. Do you really if you want to survive this? this, I've been getting away with this since I was 12 years old. 